What's going on, everybody? James Paul Shepard from Filmcore Digital. And before we get into the tutorial today, I wanted to take a minute and apologize for the lack of content lately. I've had a few personal things occupying my time, but we're taking care of that. And we're getting back into making regular content for this channel. I will release tutorials on Tuesday, which will be Tutorial Tuesdays. And on Fridays, Filmcore Friday where I will release either a short film, a skit, VFX sample, something cool for you guys to check out. So if you don't wanna miss that, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. That way it helps us support the channel and I can keep making videos. So with all that said, let's get into it. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve and you have your footage imported, you wanna grab your background. So make sure that you shot a clean plate and go ahead and grab this, scrub through. Put that down the timeline. And then we're gonna scrub back through and get where the, right when they're getting ready to jump through. I only have one clip, I shot it all at once. You may have two different clips. Just make sure your background's on the bottom and then your actor jumping through is on top. We're gonna grab that, bring it in. You can go ahead and just uh, clip or crop this down to make it all the same size. You wanna highlight, right click, new fusion clip, and then we're gonna head over to the fusion page. All right, so now that we're in the fusion tab, what you wanna do is you wanna grab the polygon tool and you wanna to go to right when the actor is coming, the closest point to the camera of where the actor would come through. And we're just gonna, we're gonna zoom in here. And then you just wanna make a Make a, make a mask around where the closest point to the camera's at. We're gonna soften the edges a little bit. And you want to keyframe this one frame at a time. So you just want to open it up a little at a time. The more, the more time you spend on masking it through, the better it's gonna look. I'm actually just gonna fast forward so you don't have to see me do this. And now when you get to the point where they're pretty much all the way through, you just want to grab and open it up all the way. So if you watch your mask, it just opens up around it. So now what you want to do is you want to connect it to your background and invert it. You wanna make sure that your background is in the foreground and your actor is in the background. What we're gonna do is you want to grab the polygon, bring the softness down just a little bit. So you should have something like this coming through. Now what you wanna do is you wanna select your polygon and your background copy it and paste it and merge it in. You wanna click on your first background, shift space, and we're gonna bring up the light rays. I wanna take this time to give a shout out to the Filmcore Digital Patreon members. Those members are Carl Robbins, Lil Thrusty, Paul Hackworth, Bobby Sarabanera, Danny Gowan, Vicki Inglom, Leslie Murphy, and Angela Kay. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you would like to be a Patreon, click the link in the description below. We have three tiers to choose from, so go check those out. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So the light rays, you want to bring the region to edges and do at angle. Let's go ahead and scrub through a little bit so we can see 
and then just play around with the angle to where you like it. I like to bring the length down and the softness up a little bit. We'll change the color to blue. You can change it to whatever color you want. Blue is just what they use in Umbrella Academy. We'll bring the brightness up. Play around with the threshold. These numbers are going to change based on your footage. So you just want to play around with these numbers until it looks like what you want. So just have something like that. Now what you want to do is going to take your first polygon, go to where they're getting ready to come through, go back one frame, bring the size down to zero, keyframe that, go forward one and put it back to one. So to make the rays look a little better, what you're going to do is you're going to Click on the light rays, shift space, add another light ray. We're going to leave this one white. Bring it down a little bit just to give it that little outer glow. Now with the spread off here, go to the frame right before it. You want to keyframe on your polygon and then go forward to where it's at and then drop that down to zero. All right, so you want to come over to your second merge, shift space, dent. We're going to add a dent. I like to use dent three. We're going to put the strength down to zero. You want to go back to the beginning right before they come through. We'll bring the size down. So right here, you want to keyframe the size and the strength. So we're gonna go forward. You wanna just bring up the strength a little bit, bring the size up a little bit, go forward, bring the size up. And then before they come through, just start bringing the strength down. And then when they're all the way through, put the strength at zero. So if you just mess around with the settings, you can get more detailed and stuff into it if you wanted to. And that's how you do the number five teleport effect from Umbrella Academy. That's probably not the only way to do it, but that's how I found works best for me. Now, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. If you have any suggestions on effects that you want me to do, leave them in the comments below. Thank you again, and remember, keep creating.